Wendy Thomas, I'm a representative from Merrimack. We're the town. Uh, we're, we're the town that's contaminated by PFAS. Um, and so, um, just as an example, we have a private well in my house. It is so contaminated, we cannot use the water that, that for our house. Um, we're being, we're, we've been put on bottled water indefinitely until we're hooked up to pu public water. That could take years. Um, that means my house can't be sold. Um, I have six children that have grown up on this water. So what I want to say is that, that industrial contamination is bad for us. We all know that. It contributes to illness. Uh, women are taking time off from work because our kids are sick from drinking the water. People are dying because they're getting cancer, which is related to PFAS exposure. And so a really important part of a women's agenda is cleaning up our environment and holding um, industrial polluters accountable because they're making us sick. And that's part of what we do. As women, we take care of the people who are sick. Yeah, I'm, I really appreciate your leadership on this because uh, as a mayor, of course, uh, running a water utility, I think a lot about clean water. And uh, it's uh, enough of a, a demanding task without industrial polluters uh, undermining the, the sources of, of water to begin with. And uh, while it's been especially acute in New Hampshire, we're also seeing evidence of PFAS, PFAS contamination in the Midwest and, and in other regions increasingly. Um, or it was there all along, but now it's being noticed in a different way. And so there need to be teeth in the regulations uh, that manage this. We need to uh, continue to double down on the polluter pays principle uh, when, when there's a problem. And a lot of this is not only making sure that we have the right standards. And as you saw, the Trump administration has actually rolled back standards on clean air and clean water. Uh, and talk about something that no one in communities wants to see. Uh, uh, from the person who Trump promised to drain the swamp. It, it sounds pretty swampy to me that they got there and decided to cut these, uh, these regulations that are about keeping us safe. But the other thing is, the truth is personnel is policy. And when you have a, a, an environmental protection agency administrator who actually believes in protecting the environment, I think a lot of these other issues will be better handled.